You probably know by now that I love plans. And earlier today, I was filming some B-roll for some social media content. I went to edit it, upload it, and I looked at it and I was like, what the f it looked like complete trash. So I had to backtrack a little bit and I realized that my project settings were a little off. And also there was a certain feature that I thought I had enabled on the social media platforms that I did not have enabled. So with that said, I'm going to show you the perfect project settings, the best export settings, and also throw in a few tips regarding social media apps. So your high quality exports translate when your viewers actually see the video. First, open up Instagram, go to the top right hand corner, click on the three little dashes and then select settings. Then scroll down until you see account, tap on account. Then scroll down until you see data usage. Then select upload at higher quality. Next with TikTok, all you have to do is enable the HD feature when you go to upload. Now go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. The settings that I'm about to show you will apply to any social media platform because they all basically require the exact same specifics as far as resolution, frame rate, aspect ratio. So in the edit page, you wanna come over here to the left-hand side where you see your timeline. Now, if you don't see your timeline, you can come up to this little box here and it says timeline view options. Go ahead and click on that. Then click on the first icon under the timeline view options. Go ahead and turn that on and you will see your timeline or timelines show up. The first thing you wanna do is right click on your timeline and select duplicate timeline. Right click on that and select rename timeline. Let's put vertical. Come over here to the media tab and where you see the vertical timeline selected, right click on it, scroll over to timelines, select timeline settings. All social media platforms require 1920 by 1080, but instead of having it widescreen, we need to make it vertical. Go ahead and click on the drop down menu and select 1920 by 1080. Then select use vertical resolution. Select OK. Instagram recommends 30 frames per second. I'm not 100% sure on the other platforms, but I'm just gonna use Instagram as a guide. In order to change your project to 30 frames per second, you can come down here to the right-hand side where this cog is and select your timeline frame rate. Click on the drop-down menu and you can select 30. I shoot at 29.97, it's close enough, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Then click Save. Select the Edit tab. So you'll notice that all of the clips are in widescreen in this vertical format. So a quick way to make all of these clips fit is to highlight all of the clips, come over here to the right hand side under the inspector, scroll down to retime and scaling, select the drop down menu next to scale and select fill. Now, as you can see, all of the videos fill up the entire vertical resolution. If you need to make adjustments to a clip, as far as the composition, you can select the clip, come up here to the right hand side and select the position or the zoom, you can change everything up right here, but just keep in mind you don't want to go too far or else you'll get a black background. Once you're done with your project, come over here to the Deliver tab on the very bottom. It's the last little rocket icon. You can rename your project, select the location of where you want to save it. The resolution will stay the same. The recommended frame rate is 30 frames per second, but my timeline is in 29.97. I'm just going to leave it at that. As far as the quality goes, you don't want your file sizes to be too big and you don't want them to be too small. If they're too small, they're gonna look like crap. If they're too big, these platforms will compress the video file size down and create some artifacts and banding. So what I like to do, depending on the length of my video, is put this between 2,500 or 5,000 kilobytes per second. Now, when it comes down to the advanced settings, if you wanna see it accurately on a Mac, you wanna export in Rec. 709A. That will give you an accurate reproduction of what your project looked like when you go to play it in QuickTime. But if you don't have to worry about that, then you can just keep this same as project. You can go ahead, add to render queue, and then select render all. If you want to see how I did those speed ramping transitions, go ahead and click on this video right here. And if you want to see how to do this really cool viral split video effect, go ahead and click on this video down below.